and you can see she is checking this out. Hopefully that's a sign of her enjoying it. Hold it really soft, really soft. With my fingertip now. in Gentle Giant Draft Horse Rescue in Mount Airy, Maryland. So Gentle Giants was formed in 2005 and our mission is to rescue draft horses from slaughter. They're a relatively uncommon breed, but we're seeing them grossly overrepresented in the horses that are exported for slaughter. And keep in mind, this is slaughter for human consumption. This isn't slaughter for dog food or byproducts or to feed animals at zoos. This is for people overseas to eat. Right now, we have about 141 horses here at the rescue with us. We rescue hundreds of horses every single year, and we've placed over a thousand horses in adoptive homes. So we have Judy here today. And Judy's been here at Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue since around Christmas time, perhaps. And uh, you could tell she was a plow horse. She's got, from the yoke and the harnesses, she's got some scars up here. You'll see it better on that front left shoulder um, when we come around that way. Actually, we can come around that way and take a look because I just, but here you can see it down here, all these scars here. Here's a scar. And I have Bonnie with me today. Here's scars, scars, scars. Um, and um, when they got her just six months ago, she was underweight, really skinny, bad teeth. And they've now um, really revitalized her. Uh, she, her coat came in already in six or seven months. The work they do here, General Giants, with their team of healthcare workers and rescue workers is phenomenal. And they adopt out hundreds, uh, even thousands of horses over the life of General Giants Draft Horse Rescue to good homes. One of the things they do is they convert these draft horses into um, riding horses so families can take them home and use them for riding. And they make such great, uh, great family horses for riding. So this is Judy. And Judy is a little anxious, right? And a little spunky. Um, hi, Judy. And Judy, would it be okay if I look at you today? What do you think of that? All right. Is this kind of what you used to with Judy? Yes. Yes. So she said yes. Okay, so come to the other side. And I'm going to just, you know, I mean, I have to uh, connect to Judy a little bit. So I can't just, you could see this is a huge horse. And she's um, not used to me, that's for sure. So I'm going to start with a little belly rub. I think that might be a good place to start. Um, since the camera's over here, I'll try to be on this side. Okay. And here's the pole coming down. And what about if I rubbed your little belly? It's not a little belly, this is a big horse. You might have to follow me with the camera. Now look at her face while I do this. And you might come all the way to the front, you'll see her drooling a little too. And so shoot from the nose on back to me with the camera. you can see she is checking this out. Hopefully that's a sign of her enjoying it. I'm gonna work on the hip a little bit too. Just get her to acknowledge that I'm here. Now I'm gonna start feeling down the neck, looking at the feet. You know, feeling for the space between the atlas and the um, angle of the jaw. And this one's gonna be a little challenging to work on her. First of all, she does not take to the bale. So we, we bought the bale over, which is the box that I stand on, and she said no to that. But I can do some nice things for her today, which I'm gonna start getting started. So here's the atlas. I can only get two fingers on the left. 
and on the right, a little more space. So she has a little bit of a right atlas. Whew. See what happens here. So more space. So what I'm looking for is the space between the angle of the jaw and the wing of the atlas right here. And I can get two full fingers. I already checked it, but so her head was turned away. But when I checked the first time her head was level, I can get two fingers space in right here. On the right, I can only get one and a half. So we call that a right superior atlas because it's more occluded or shortened on that side. And then I'm just going to recheck my, yeah. So, question is, do I do a little adjustment on the atlas first? I might be able to do that, so I'll wait to see if she gives it to me. Otherwise, I'll come back and get it in a little bit. Got it. And let's see what happens. So, I just push that atlas down. And I'm going to step away here and see what she does with that. All right, now I'm going to go and feel the spacing again. I was able to get one and a half fingers on the right, two fingers on the left. On this side, it was kind of overlapped. So I'll see if I can get two fingers to lay down flat right here now. And um, Okay, can I check your atlas? Perfect, fits. Okay, hi Judy. Judy, can I work on you a little more? All right. All right, Judy. Coming down. Here's a little spot here, Judy. Let me just see if I can make this feel nice for you. So my hand's on C3. I'm just going to hold it really soft, really soft with my fingertip now. Good. Just gonna hold on. I'm trying to get this muscle knot to release. It's a big muscle knot right at her second. It's really a little bit lower at C3. It starts at C2, but the real knot contracts at C3. And now I'm gonna just follow her a little more. There you go. Come this way now. Nice. Good. Gotcha. Good. Now I'm going to do a little adjustment on this. Got it. Let her run that out. And she's working those lips, which is good. So I just adjusted the right superior atlas, I adjusted C3 on the right, C3 was lateral, adjusted it in, felt it move under my hand and went like, made a little noise too, but you won't be able to hear that because all the stomping and hoofing and puffing. So now I'm going to keep looking, I'm going to see what else shows up. But here you could see these scars, scars, scars. This was definitely a, a plow horse. I mean, or a yeah, plow, wagon, a workhorse. Coming down the neck one more time. Let's feel that pull. Now I did adjust the atlas. The atlas, we can adjust posterior, superior, anterior. There's a lot of angles of the atlas. And the pole, the atlas is the top bone, the, the occiput, is the bottom of the skull, the base of the skull. Let's look, I mean, nice, nice balanced base in the front, so it's not too narrow. Um, you know, she squares up nicely. I mean, this is a nice looking horse. She's very balanced. Um, we worked at, we looked at a horse yesterday that had incredible muscularity in the front end, but the back end, because of an injury and because of an infection in the foot, um, was atrophied and that'll come back as the foot heals uh, but Judy's balanced so I'm gonna just see 
her her breath rate is a little fast right now because she's anxious so I want to see if I can get her breath rate to come down a little bit and um, a horse takes uh, 8 to 14 breaths per minute normally and that's like this eight you know just a regular breath uh, average might be 14 and um, when they're agitated or anxious it gets into rapid breathing like <laughs> so one thing you could do is just let them have some time to graze and roam and calm down but if I'm gonna work I also want to see if I can bring that down a little bit too uh, so I'm gonna see if I can get her to take slower deeper breaths and I come back here she's looking at me and I'm coming down to the last rib last two ribs feeling the rectus abdominis my thumb is on a reflex point here and I'm watching her nostrils I'm watching her eyes I'm watching the set of her ears and I'm trying to just get her to mellow out a little bit her head comes down it's a good sign her top line is softening she looks back at me and she's just trying to relax a little with me hi how are you I'm back here on your so this area helps them just relax take a breath soften up be a little less agitated now I'm going to add a, a hip stretch at the same time now remember this is a big big horse so a lot of the work that I'm doing is going to let her to work with me by pushing up and leaning into what I'm doing. Now I'm on a little bit of a tender spot here. So I'm letting her work against me. Not against me, with me, but with her own leaning and body weight. Now she's leaning into me again. Weight is back on the back right hind leg. Take a breath in now. Another breath in. Good. And relax. And I'm, I'm spreading the rib cage. I'm holding a reflex point with my thumb. My hand is on the ilium. My right hand is on the ilium. And I'm spreading her rib cage from her hip, giving her space to relax the erectus abdominis muscle. And letting some of this tension under the underside relax. Let's do a little scratching too while I'm still pushing away with this arm. Let's see what her face is doing. Okay, would you like this little scratch? Give her enough slack so if she turns to me, she can do it, okay? Okay, let her walk around again. Now, one of the things, you know, I've now made 73 videos since January. So in five months, I've done 73 videos and I always put up videos, whether they're easy or hard, because I'm not just cherry picking videos and just showing ones where I look good or everything goes my way. You know, in real life, I come and work on animals and I get bitten, I get kicked, I get knocked over. Um, Sometimes it goes really easy, sometimes it doesn't. We did a horse yesterday, which you should see, named Harlem, which is a carriage horse, and you could, I could probably brush his teeth right now with soap and toothpaste, and he would just let me. And then we have someone like Judy, and Judy um, is letting me do some work, but at her pace. And we can't just um, bully a horse and, and make a horse do what I want. I have to team up. Now, let's say I came to this farm every single week then Judy would start to get to know me and be more comfortable um, but Judy's not having a bad day today this is her normal personality right everyone yeah so um, you know and just think about what type of life she had she didn't grow up in in with hugs and kisses her whole life for the first she's in her early 20s she's 21 22 23 years old for her first 19 years of her life she just had um, a hard life just a hard, tough, scrabble life. 
and she's not used to even love. She's not used to being hugged and, you know, so when she gets it, she's suspicious. When someone rubs her belly, she's like, why is he being nice to me? And why is Bonnie being nice to me? So let's keep doing. There's a little left I want to check today and we'll finish up. But this is good for everybody to see because I want everybody to know, like, it's not like, you know, I adjust a cat and it jumps again and there's a miracle. So I do want to get on this hip a little bit. Because I feel that hip stuck a little bit, that back right. And I'll probably just time it when she's leaning into me. I'll just go for it. Here we go. One more. There we go. Good. What do you think of that, Judy? It's good to give them space, give them time to integrate what you just did. Horses are huge, but they have the most delicate little nervous systems. And uh, they feel everything. They sense everything. They can even feel an agitation of my own heart rate. So if I approach Judy and I'm agitated, immediately she feels that. And if I can calm down, she'll calm down with me. What's great about working with Bonnie is Bonnie is very calm. So Bonnie has this incredible energy. Bonnie's the one helping me today. Um, and it's so it's just really helps who I have working with me. So I got the right AS ilium. Um, here's the glute. The glute feels, you have good glutes, Judy, just to say that. I don't know how you feel about that, but the hamstring feels good. You like this if I rub your hamstring? Look at your face. You're doing a little nose thing for me. So I'm on the semi-membranosis. Just lateral is the semi-tendinosis and I'm just rubbing it and coming down. I have strong fingers, so I'm coming in between the, between the fibers. And here, you can come around and look what I'm doing with my hand, and I'll come around and do it again. But shoot from the back with the camera, and you'll see uh, where my hand is on the hamstring. And I'm just holding this in here between the hamstrings. And now just rubbing that. Because she's a little tight on this side. Yeah, right there is a, is a crazy trigger point. And there, take a step. Good. Now I'm going to come around the other side and feel what this feels like. And this side's not as bad, so this side's softer. So I like that. This hip feels good. And this quad is tight. So I'm going to work on this quad a little bit. And my thumb is right on a reflex point. Right in there. So I'm on this quad. And I'm trying to get this muscle knot to release a little bit. So my thumb is right here. Here, look at my leg. Right here, right in the quad. Okay. It already feels better. It already softened up. I think we're gonna uh, connect one more time and then end on that, because I think that's what we're gonna do today. We see a lot of horses today. You're going to see that in the videos under, there's a whole playlist called Gentle Giants Draft Horse Rescue. And um, Judy, thank you for letting me work with you today. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. So here we are. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think about Judy. Isn't, isn't she pretty though? Thank you. Got her just Six months ago, she was underweight, really skinny, bad teeth, and they've now um, really revitalized her. Uh, she, her coat came in already in six or seven months. The work they do 